Patent marking is the act of labeling your patent number on your patented product. By doing so, you are giving the world constructive notice of your patent. They are now responsible for reading your patent and avoiding infringement. Ignorance of your patent is no longer an excuse for infringement. If you don't mark your product with your patent number, then your competitors have no duty to read your patent and avoid infringement unless you give them actual notice of your patent. When you implement your patent marking strategy, you have to decide whether you want to mark your product traditionally or virtually. The traditional patent marking regime involves labeling the product itself with the patent number. The upside to the traditional patent marking regime is that it's simple to implement. The downside is that it is difficult to keep track of when you're trying to build a patent portfolio around your product. You have to keep changing your modes as you keep on adding patent numbers to your portfolio, which can be challenging. When you implement virtual patent marking, it is more difficult to get set up in the beginning, but easier to maintain as you build your patent portfolio. You still need to label your product with some patent information. Instead of the patent number, you need to label your product with a web address where others can find the patent number related to your product. After that, you don't need to change any of your modes when you get more patents. Rather, you need to update your web page with those additional patents. My name is James Yang. I'm a patent attorney, engineer, and author. I help inventors patent their inventions and trademark their brands. I also wrote Navigating the Patent System to help inventors like you get through the patent process. After hundreds of granted patents and registered trademarks, I'm confident I can help you.